Welcome to the stream. We're gonna do more of this stuff. Give me a sec. Just double checking death count is all good. And there we go. Okay. Let me remind myself what I'm doing. Okay, heading through central Lanayru. So I guess I'm kind of in the right spot. Go out the fairy fountain and the rear exit. And uh, yeah, if you're watching later on YouTube, as always, thanks for clicking and hope you're enjoying. Okay. Already got one. Hey. In. There we go. I will definitely get to 200 Koroks today. Hello, Clive. Thanks for the raid. How's it going? I just started. This feels like a trap. I'm, I guess if there's no exclamation mark, I'm just gonna leave it. I don't want it to be a, a Yiga fight. Yeah, what were you up to uh, tonight? Hey, Mikey. Also, Lord Shaden, thank you for the raid as well. That's two back to back. Uh, <laughs> cat on a hot tin piano. <laughs> I mean, admittedly, yeah, this is all the soundtrack is. It's just every now and then a piano chimes in. You were doing Sea of Thieves with Mike and Shaden. Oh, that would have been fun. Cool, cool. Well, for those that don't know what I'm doing, um, I've been playing through every single Zelda game in the lead up to Tears of the Kingdom, so I'm finally up to Breath of the Wild. I have a month to finish it. I am playing through in master mode, and I'm applying the rules which I used the first time I played this, so the rules are I'm not allowed to upgrade anything until all of these have been acquired and all of these have been acquired. Therefore, 90% of the time of this playthrough is going to be on three hearts. And I'm not allowed to fast travel. And I have to be completely naked until I get, you know, the typical Link outfit. The Korok mask is allowed. And you might say oof or like wow. <laughs> I've done it once before, so it is doable. It becomes more like a Souls game, which is fun. Or at least I find it fun. It's not as punishing as you would think, because the thing with Master Mode is you kind of have to pick your battles anyway. You can't go around fighting everything because it just, it's not worth it. So 
so honestly, a lot of this is still pretty chill. Like, I go around, I go find my Koroks. And then every now and then, I might be like, alright, I'll go fight something. But, you know, like... The general en enemies, like the Moblins, the Bokoblins... Even if I wasn't doing, you know, this challenge thing, I, I would avoid them anyway, just because it, it doesn't make sense to fight them in Master Mode. Because they're stronger, they... You end up losing one or two weapons, and then the weapon you get in exchange is weaker, so it's just not worth fighting. Unless you can see that the reward is worth it. So. I mean, I'm 30 shrines in and almost 200 Koroks, so, you know, it's fine. <laughs> it's not as bad as you would think. But I, I will admit it is it is a little bit of masochism. But the reason I do I do this just with Breath of the Wild is because it reminds me so much of Zelda 1, and that's what me and my brother did with Zelda 1. We used to make up rules just to keep the game entertaining, because it was one of the few games we used to own growing up. And uh To keep it interesting, we'd we'd be like, alright, let's just play it again, but this time you're not allowed to do this. There are 900 Koroks in total and there are 120 primary shrines, but there are um, other shrines as well. And then there's the whole Trial of the Sword thing, but at that point I'll have I'll have health and armor, so it'll be different. Because you can't get into that trial without having health. I do plan on doing Trial of the Sword, but, you know, it's... Whatever I can get done before Tears of the Kingdom releases, pretty much the day before that game releases, one way or another I'll go fight Ganon if I haven't already. So that's the plan. But I mean, if, if my weaponry hasn't shown what I've done, like, I've defeated a Lionel. And I've got the Guardian Spear++, plus plus, so I've done major test of strength. So, you know, I've, I've, I've beaten things. I may have died quite a bit in the process, but I've gotten there. Hmm, I thought there would have been some here. Well, let's take a look. Alright, I'm gonna climb up and then backtrack across this. And I think that should be this area more or less covered for now. The no fast travel thing is just because you got Path of the Hero. So, at the end of this, you'll be able to see, you'll be able to play this out and see everything I did. Which is kind of neat. I think it'll be cool to see just the entire adventure. Anyway, I won't do that now. <laughs> Till the glutton for punishment shambles. I know. I have to be doing something like this every year. It's, all, it's not all about punishment. Sometimes I'll play stuff that's very relaxing and no stress whatsoever. But it's a testament to this game's design because you can get pretty much anywhere with base basic stamina. You don't need to upgrade anything, really. And you can still go wherever you want, so... There's no hard brick wall other than maybe difficulty in terms of fighting.
So yeah, that's what I'm uh, I'm doing. It's more of a issue of time constraints as opposed to whether or not I can do it. I know I can do it. I just have less than a month now. I know it's the. It's only a blue one. There's not really a whole lot of incentive to fight this one. I don't think it drops a. I think the bow and the sword it drops is, is the same as what I have already. I have to fight the the white one or the gold one. That's when it's worth it. Let me see. Maybe I can spot it out from here. Hold on. <laughs> Further back. There we go. Oh, that's as far as it zooms in. Yeah, so it's just a standard Lionel shield and sword, so it's not worth it. I'm hoping in Tears of the Kingdom it's not like this for a soundtrack, I don't know. Some of the music they've been showing in the trailers has been really good, but I'm kind of afraid it's just going to be more of this again. Hmm. There was a live demo. Yeah, that was the one showing the sandbox mechanics, uh, more or less. And a couple of days ago, they they dropped a three-minute trailer. Which is the last trailer before the game releases. They're not showing anything else, but that showed a bit more of the world, and uh, it showed more or less what we're going to be doing. It was a really good trailer, if you haven't seen it already. The demo, uh, they were in a sky island and it, I couldn't pick up the soundtrack. It wasn't what's playing now, but it was something different, but it was definitely muted. <laughs> hey, sir, thanks for the 35 months. Only one month left. Yeah, I guess it's like three years in Tears of the Kingdom. There you go. Doesn't look like there's going to be Koroks here. Okay, so... We'll probably jump across the gap and then start heading into the mountains. That was today's uh, aim, is clear the mountain areas. I'm doing these... I'm doing it tower by tower. You made some decent progress on your own play. Cool. Hope it's going well. I think I'm doing okay. How do I know I have them all when the number is 900? Or do you mean, like, in an area? I don't. <laughs> Quite simply, I don't. The, I have a mask that, you know, when you're in the general area of one, it goes off. But, I mean, the strategy is you have to comb the land. So, you try and zigzag across the land. Sometimes you'll... There's a strategy you can use, so... Sometimes on the map, when you get it, 
you can look around and sometimes there's clearly visible landmarks. I'll see if I can find one for you. So you know what I mean. I've probably gotten them all though. I'll find an existing one. There's one around here. Yeah, so take this for example. Um, one of the common Koroks is three trees in a row, and then you have to match the apples on the tree. So before I got this one, I was like, all right, that's clearly one on the map. And then sometimes you'll see formations as well, which helps you rule it out. So there's quite a few you can spot just from the map. And then sometimes when you're walking around, you just see something in the distance and it's like, okay, that's probably one. But other than that, I mean, just explore as much as you can. Don't fast travel would be the advice I would give, because then otherwise you're skipping large segments of landmass. <laughs> Treasure chests and aurochs are part of the compendium. I'm not sure I'm going to do the compendium. Uh, again, we'll see. It's just whatever I can do before the game releases, but it's not one of those ones that I'm that interested in doing. I'll do it as I go. I'll try, but if I don't get it done, I'm not, not that fast. Is there a reward for the compendium? I doubt it. I don't even know who you would see about that. The lab techs? The Korok thing is, uh, is not for everyone, but I guess the incentive is because you have limited slots for weapons. The incentive is when you find the Koroks, for every certain amount you find, you get an extra inventory slot. So that's why you want to find them, but I mean, most people sort of stop around the 300 mark because that's usually enough slots. Because I think they increase in cost, so after a certain point, it's just people give up on it. But if you're a completionist, hey. Not exploring quite as thoroughly as me, but still getting a fair amount of them. Yeah, I mean, the first time I played this, I didn't do it as thorough as I'm doing it now, and... What ends up happening is you'll end up with about a hundred that you won't have acquired, and then it's you're doing this pretty much. That was the rough experience I had the first time I, I played this. This is probably gonna go flying. Whoops. Well, that definitely went flying. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I think I'm pretty much done with this mountain, so I'll just head to the snow now. Did I get a picture of the child lab tech when she was younger? What do you mean? Oh. You get a picture as a reward, really? I mean, the rewards for some of the completionist stuff admittedly is shit. How do I survive the cold warm areas? Very good question. You equip a fire rod or a flame blade for the cold areas. If you, ha if you have it on your back, you keep warm. 
for the cool areas, it's the opposite. It's keep the, uh, the ice sword on your back. And if it gets extremely cold, um, I just have food that lasts 15, 20 minutes, and that's usually enough. So see, right now, it's like, hey, I'm in the snow, but nothing's happening. I'm fine. Okay, so now it's super cold. So now I have to actually use these. That'll do. There, and that bumps it up enough. That's it. So I just have to make sure I have enough of this food whilst exploring. Which I do. I think it's pretty cool that the uh, warm weapons do keep you warm. And then, yeah, for climbing, if you need extra stamina, you just have stamina food. So I have a bunch that, uh... If I'm climbing something and I feel like I, I really need to make it, then I'll just eat a mushroom skewer. So there's a way to deal with everything. There should be a shrine somewhere in this direction. It's said to go to the big trees in the distance. That's what I'm trying to do now. I think that's one of them over there. Near the coast. Yeah, it's like... A cave. Let me see where I am right now. Okay, it's further along, but I'll follow this path. Okay, hold on. I hopefully got it. Wait, one lost its head somehow? How? Ah! I hate the lizards because of that spitting attack. I'll be fine. I'm surprised there isn't a Korok here. Alright, I'll climb the tree. Maybe it's too far above that it doesn't register. The mask. Guess not. 
Okay. Uh, from here, I guess turn this way. Hang on. This way. Yeah. Oh, it's inverse directions. It's alright. I don't need all that height. If I rem remember correctly, this mountain's pretty empty. Oh, and the dragon thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there is a Korok here. Ah. Oh. <laughs> ah. Okay, gotta go back. Wait, what is it in the air? What? Okay, I guess it's in the air. There should be enough time to do this. The dragon bit was fun. It is. Let's see how it go. I just have to avoid the, the frost. Come on. Okay, wait for stamina. Seventy-eight. Be interested to know what challenges I had for the NES Zelda. Uh, one of them was just go straight to Castle Three. <laughs> that was one of them. Don't do Castle One or Two. Just go straight to the third dungeon. And there's, there's the classic, not allowed to use the sword. Then, not allowed to pick up hearts, so you're on basic health. B, it wasn't a B button only, it was just bombs, boomerang, what, bow and arrow, just everything except sword, which I guess that's what it means. I think at one point we did a, a survival challenge, which was no heal at all. Let's just see how far you can get without healing. So if there was a heart on the ground, you had to leave it. But that's the thing we did. It's, you know, we didn't really get new games. So... It brings me nostalgia to be doing it like this for Breath of the Wild. Another one. At least this one's headed in the right direction. Yeah, <laughs> welcome, Vlad. Oh, no. 
It's not enough. Ah, okay. Uh, I think I have to do... I think this one's a, a snowboarding one. It's fine. I think it's behind me in this cave here. There it is. Oh, no. Oh. I might have to briefly go back to Hitino. I'm not sure I have enough food to last an hour. Wait, is this one already worthy? What has better names, these strands or No Man's Sky Galaxies? I haven't seen No Man's Sky Galaxies, but if you got an example of one, I can judge. Tanoa! Oh, it's another part of the climbing set that I won't wear because I'm playing naked. Need to sleep. All good, all good. Get some rest. Thanks for popping in and saying hi, though, Vlad. I don't think I'm gonna be- I think the dragon's probably gonna be the most tedious thing I'm gonna do tonight. Maybe. I'm trying to think. If I head north, aside from Zora's domain, and maybe fighting that Lionel again, I'm not sure what else. I'm not doing the Divine Beasts until the very end, so that's the thing. That's pretty much... okay. Now it's time to wrap things up. That was nice. Okay. And this is going to be useful for the desert. Should probably leave a marker, just so I know. Very good cooking ingredients here. Yeah, there, there are strategies you can employ in this to make it easier. One of them I, I do is to keep my supply of weapons going, um, I'll just mark wherever the Hinox are on the map, and then I just steal their weapons. I don't fight them. And they keep me with a supply of very good weapons. They're not the best weapons, but definitely better than what the standard enemies give you. So whenever I need to fight something strong, go visit a Hinox, pick up weapons, and then go fight it. <laughs> There's a lot of stealth and running away. I don't think this would be doable if I had a rule that was like, you have to fight everything. Okay, what's my worst shield? This one. I wish this didn't damage the shield. Oh, 
Oh crap. Uh-oh. It's okay. Oh. I almost went splat. Where am I now? Hmm. Yeah, the because when you get the Korok, it, it ignores your input. And it takes maybe two to three seconds before it plays the yahaha. -ha. If I would have been in the air for another second, I would have died. This looks suspicious. Yep, yeah, okay, this is one. Alright. Save, just in case I mess it up. What I, I use movement speed things because I can't right now. I have to keep the cold resist, and if you I use movement speed, it clears the cold buff. But in general, I don't know, because I have to keep cooking it. Laziness. I have to keep a steady supply of rush rooms, and I know. Is it that cold that yes? The, uh, the wand on my back is not enough. Gotta sleep. No problem, Clavel. Thank you so much for the raid and appreciate the chat. Have a, uh, good night. I mean, I guess I may as well go to that island while I'm here. Yeah, it's raining again. I know, I know. Yesterday, I think I experienced... Uh, I'm not exaggerating, like, two hours of in-game rain. Collectively. Your own game, you keep getting hit with it at the worst of moments. Number one enemy. I hope they do something about it. I don't care if they don't edit how often it is. I, th We just need a way to... I it either A, needs to not happen as often, or B, have a way to be able to climb in the rain. Even if it's not right away. Just somehow, please... Ugh, I hate Octorox. The ones in the water just suck. Oh, that's a that's a lizard, isn't it? Taking gamble here. I just have to be quick with my my ice blocks. There we go. That's probably a knock the rock. Oh, there's two here. I think. <laughs> yeah, there's two here. Cool. Yeah. 
182. The other thing I'm afraid of is just if I eat one of these that I die. Do I even... No, yeah, see, I thought I made some. Alright, I'll eat that. I'll eat this one. Oh crap. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, it's not fine. <laughs> Where am I even going from here? Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna go this way. I'll just go around. Alright. Oh, look, it's raining again. I don't think it's realistic for me to get up back there. <laughs> oh, that was so satisfying to do. Simmered for it. There we go. Yep. I mean, on the bright side, lots of octo balloons, and I need more of them. I don't get tired of seeing that. Place the treasure chests. Well, I guess I already got a treasure chest. It doesn't go by type. Okay, I'm going over there now.
saw that from a distance, and I just wonder if it's anything. Damn it. Ugh. It's going to put me all the way back. I keep throwing them too far away, so then I go under them. I just want to check around the perimeter here. There's a quest later on where you need the, the rush rooms. That's why I'm, I'm trying not to use too many. You need to collect a certain amount. I can't remember how many. Link, please. <laughs> It's way later. I mean, way later if I go down there way later. Obviously, I can go whenever I want, but... I'm not planning to go to the Gerudo area for a long time. but Google is saying 55. Something like that. I remembered roughly 50. So. I have about 30 on me now. You caught a hundred crickets for the guy in Hatino. Just to realize he only wanted ten. <laughs> I'll go away. How did that happen? I don't I don't wanna No, you know what, I can I can kill this bat with bombs. I just, I don't want to, oh, really? I don't, I don't want to waste my spear. The spear is a good one. Are you, okay, good. It's okay, I can just run. I, I hate the delay. It stops Link from moving for two seconds. That was close. Huh? 
I don't really make elixirs in this game. Because I think the problem is you need at least one monster part to make it, right? Yeah. I suppose the skeletons are good for that. I think I can go back up the mountain, but I'll I'll still do the perimeter. Because there are a few on the perimeter. In fact, I think there's more on the perimeter than the actual mountain itself. You're doing a regular master mode playthrough, so you need parts for the armor. That's fair. I know I should be collecting honey because honey is required for the wild upgrades. I have been, uh, just there's a couple of times where I could have gotten honey and I didn't. register. Alright. Uh-oh. That's bad timing. Easy, easy, easy. See what that one did? It shot my bomb. Usually it's enough to land their body in the water and then this just screwed. There we go. Just collect the goodies. <laughs> Look at the heads there. That's it. Okay, so I've met up with the trail, so now I'm going up this way.
We'll see if I need food. Part should be fine. It's just when I get further up, that's when it'll. Hmm. Interesting. I see. Oh, yeah, I'm already too cold. I'm not even that high up. Uh, okay. That'll last a bit. I'm not really interested in going in the middle there. Though that waterfall might be something. I'll go the long way around. How much cold food do I have? I have one, two, three, eleven. Okay, so I have half an hour's worth of cold food. I think that's enough for now. Forty minutes, really, if you count the one that I'm using. There's a Hinox here as well. Guess just put that there. Okay. I'll look a bit in here. But I mean, otherwise this mountain is fairly empty. Just making sure. Are those wolves about to attack me? Well, you know, I was trying to be a pacifist, but if they're going if they're going to be dicks about it. I see gourmet meat. There is a Korok here. Hmm. 
Where? There's a guy who wants gourmet meat. Alright, cool. We'll hang on to it. Is this one? It's going off, but it's not here. Hello, is it Twitch yet? How are you? Ooh, butterfly. It's gone. What? It goes off around here, but it's not here. It was around the wolves, but... Huh, weird. I mean, I'll just keep collecting here. Doing good? Good to hear. Ah, uh, doing alright. Just kicking back. Trying not to get mauled by wolves. Love how the other one just bails. They don't they don't stick to the kill. Jesus, so many mushrooms here. This is great. Pack hunters, yeah, pretty much. That's why I couldn't see it. It's something that's roaming. photo of that butterfly. Really? Okay, hold on, Korok. That's why it was something that I could detect when I was fighting the wolves, because it was moving.
I think it's safe to say I'll have enough uh, food for the desert. You asked for it. It's over. I have the high ground. <laughs> Meat. Thank you. Can I use one sword to cook with? You can, yeah. It'll it's the same treatment as just putting it over an open fire, so it'll become just roasted. Or it says baked, but you know. You can use it. White pigeon. I just wanted the photo. I'm ready. their own fault. They've been pretty pacifist when it comes to hunting. All my protein has been coming from mushrooms as of late. Just don't learn. Ah, oh. what is this? Get up before it freezes. <laughs> there we go. All that gourmet meat. I don't know where the gourmet meat person is, but they're going to be happy.
they're at one of the stables, okay. Noted. I know one of them wants me to get a recipe from Hyrule Castle and cook it. I've met that one. With the weapons I have, I can go get the shield from Hyrule Castle, so... Gourmet meat guys near the stable. Right, so it's like central Hyrule somewhere. Okay. The fact the Hylian shield can break is disappointing. Yeah. Okay. Careful. There we go. Ooh, it's a knight's broadsword. You had a shield too, didn't you? No? Okay, well. It is lame, but same goes for the master. Master sword. When the Hylian shield breaks, you have to go get it again, don't you? Or is, is it something that, uh... Yeah. I mean, the way that I did it, I went and got it. And then I, uh, I kept it on me. But I only used it at the very end. So, in the fight against Calamity Ganon, I had the, sh the shield out. So I'll probably do that again. You can rebuild the champion weapons. Yeah, like Mipha's thing and... It's a bit weird. Really? Is there another one? There is. Stalf. Trees, it's fine. Now, where was this rock? It was somewhere around here. There it is. Right there. It's okay. Thankfully, I have the big cold resistance. So I guess I don't even have to have the fire weapon on me. Because I'm using the extra strong cold resist now. I 
I'll just keep following this trail. We'll see what they do. I mean... They'd be, they'd be aware, right, that people didn't like the fact that the, the shield broke. To be honest, I'm surprised when they did Trial of the Sword that they didn't do a quality of life for the shield as well. Because the sword even, it just sucked, like... I mean, ignoring the fact that it broke, at least it re could recharge, but... The fact that most other weapons were better... It's a bit disappointing. That became ice, that's fine. I guess I just didn't want the other weapons to become inconsequential. It's flash freezing, but then you just eat that meat. Like, you can't unfreeze it. That just becomes meat that grants you, uh... Immunity. Well, not... I guess not immunity, but, like, resistance to the heat. Cooking doesn't defrost it. Uh, I believe that's what, that's considered a cooked dish, so to speak. It's not an ingredient anymore. It's these are these are ingredients, and then these are cooked meals. So it's already food. Which eh. That's why you gotta be quick to grab the meat. Must be an acquired taste. Yeah, probably. I mean, some people think eating meat that isn't well cooked, well done, is an acquired taste. There's there's a steak that's blue. Now this is ice blue. dragon from here. I guess that's that answers why I couldn't run into it in Lanero. It's just because we hadn't done this yet. Is the green one? Yeah, and I think Din is the the other one, right? Yeah. 
I haven't had a steak in a long time. <laughs> it's kind of making me want a steak now. It's a Korok. Oh, that really didn't do much. Thought it would do more than that. Okay, guess just... Through the power of, uh, just standing there and letting it melt. Yep. Because I don't really have fire arrows. Shame Link can't dance. No, but I can do this. How do you do it? It's like... Forget how you pose. There. There we go. There you go. I'm kind of dancing now. Is that good enough? Yeah, I, I think it's funny that he flexes when AFK. <laughs> it means one of two things. It's either Link is ironically doing it and he's funny, or has delusions of grandeur, and is just not funny. It's probably the only hint you get really of his personality. See the lab from here. Isn't the the other dude meant to be here in the mountains? I think he's at the shrine. I can't remember. I just want to make sure I do as much as I can whilst I'm at this altitude. Alright, I guess let's climb now. Yep. 
assert dominance, then they'll start bothering. Wait, this one's still coming for me. Why? It usually gives up when friend is... Okay. No, it's gonna be frozen. Okay, no, it's fine. Got it. Ooh, I love the... It gets all tense around here. Saw threats, you're awake. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you may as well stay up, right? Like, it's. Well, hang on, what time is it over there for you? Daylight savings changes everything. Yeah, I mean, it's like all. Ah, uh, Pablet! Shit! Where did you come from? <laughs> Where did that come from? That was just out of nowhere. I was also mid-slip, so I couldn't move. Punch to the crotch, immediately shattered. Okay, where am I? There's my... Okay, I know where I am. does make neat lighting effect when you combine the colors it becomes like a purple sort of thing oh well I'm headed the wrong way I'll just climb up this way The only thing I gotta be careful of is just the explosions. It doesn't count. Ice case, ugh. stuff. I hate when the camera's janky. Oh shit, that's not an ice one. I want to... 
No. Okay, got it. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Keep running. Keep running. <laughs> Get a photo of Nadra. I mean, corrupted Nadra, but Nadra nonetheless. This is a cool scene. You have done well to find your way to the spring. You who have overcome numerous trials and obtained spirit orbs. The one you see before you is an attendant to the Spring of Wisdom. This is Nadra, the blue spirit of Lanaru. This, this servant of the goddess has looked over the spirits of this land for ages, unknown to the world of man. However, the dreaded malice unleashed by Calamity Ganon has possessed its body and reduced it to this state. You who have received the spirit orbs, free Nadra from this malice. Show what power you can achieve. start moving soon. There it goes. Okay. I will have to eat food again. Last cold resist food. Too late. Okay. thing is not to be afraid. Except when it does that. It's a little bit of a dick move there, dragon, but okay. Alright, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Go.
shit. Okay. Catching an updraft. Sometimes it just doesn't work. <laughs> Running out of food. <sighs> oh, fuck off. Okay, careful. One more. It's, it's shielding. <sighs> I just need to get the tail now. I did leap instead of, uh, air. I think it might make me do the whole thing again. Yeah, okay, let's do the whole thing again. Ugh. I'll do better this time. That's why this mountain's kind of bare. It's just... Because you have to do this. There's not really many Koroks around. You missed me last time. Okay, I got it. Protects itself too much.
How did that miss? <laughs> Going for the tail this time first. Just got home after a long night out. Gonna lurk and try to sleep off drunkenness. <laughs> Hope you had a good night, Messiah. Thanks for hopping in. Did you, uh, did you get the nuggy party? There we go. Hit it. Back to normal. I can't remember if it takes me back up there. I hope it does. Thanks to your efforts, Nadra, the spirit of Lanero has been freed from the grips of an evil power. But a single ceremony remains. Now, loose your arrow through the body of Nadra to free the spirit of this region. This is the tutorial. I'm getting the horn. Hey, where's my horn? Horn! I oh, know, there it is. I was gonna say... Wait, I hit it on the head! It says of proof. Okay, but come, offer a scale. Wait, is it not? No, it's not an item. Okay. The blue spirit Nadra is released. You must offer the scale. Oh, do I just have to? I think I just have to drop it. Please tell me I'm already worthy. Your past has shown itself. Go forth. Damn. Jitan Sami. That one was somewhat normal of a name. Already worthy. I almost read it as Jatan Salami, but <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, Frostbeer. Yep, 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 yep. That's the other half. 
This is this is almost busted anyway. I am Jatan Salami, guardian of this shrine. Okay, so now this is my heating unit. I don't think there's any further point to exploring Lineru now. I just remember that Lineru was extremely disappointing. Because I... I went to the effort of going around it. I do remember this. Going around it very, very thoroughly. And it just has... It has nothing. So I'm, I think... Here there's definitely something. So I'm just gonna go here... And then from there, drop onto Hatino Beach. That's the plan. I just remember it was it was a colossal waste of time being here. And the ones that I have found are probably the only ones that are here. Okay, so it should be this way. Yep, this way. And just follow this line here. I have six minutes, so it should be okay. I leave this mountain not with a lot of Koroks, but a bag full of uh, wolf meat. shattered. I thought I was safe there. Yep. 
There's one. This is the one I was thinking of. Confused for a sec. Yeah. Okay, nearly, nearly there. Nearly at 200. if there's any point. Doesn't look like it. I'll be happy to just reset back. Link just shoveling all that food in his mouth. Ah. Eight. This, that's pretty much Lanero region done in Hatino. So, I guess now I head up to here. Oh wow, there's multiple here. Oh, it's two. Yeah. Sometimes it's two. <laughs> I think this one's even three. Yeah. Duh, no. No. That's on ninety. Hit. 
Really? There's a cave here. Oh no. I don't have coconut. Okay, there should be one nearby though. Yep, up there. Okay. Palm fruit, whatever. It's a coconut. So this is the camp that uh, is from the Hatina quest. I don't think it's worth losing a weapon over this. Korok. Let's just see what's over here. There are two bokoblins. Scratch that. Three bokoblins. It's just not. Wo look! Look at this. Look at how many I have to take out. I'm gonna lose so many weapons in trying to do this. It's just. It's not worth it. Even though it's a quest, it's. 
I'm not exactly trying to go for everything. I'll lose high tier weapons to get wooden weapons in return. Just go up to that corner and that's it. climbing then, huh? Fine. I don't want to climb anyway. Oh, this one's easy. It's just here. Pop into the lab for a sec.
It seems most of your wounds have healed anyway. Something on your mind? Who's Robbie? Where's Robbie? Robbie is my subordinate. There, I said it. I think he's on the edge of a Akala. Oh, Akala. Okay. That's why I didn't run into him. Akala is, like, way away. The Akala is, like, up. I mean, further up. Alright, let me look at this. Where the purple mark is. Yeah, okay. That's a color. The color region is up here. That's how we have the other shrine. Up some trees in this forest. I need to collect wood. Deforestation, rawr. I'm gonna need a lot of it. Not just for the house thing, but also for, um, that town for later. So I'll do something now while I'm here. It's like 110. In total for both, or just... Just the town. Yep. In total, okay. Yep. It's also good to have this stuff because... Well, I mean, I need 30 for my house. That's what I mean. Is the 110 just for the town? Or is it for my house and the town? I need 30, yeah, for my house. There's some shroom around here that I should probably get first.
got scared there. I thought that was going to fall on me. Check how much I have in a minute. That's enough for the house. I don't have the money, but I have the materials at least. I just figured while I'm here in Hatino, set that up. I'll get to 50 and then I'll stop. Nice. <laughs> Alright, perfect. I said 50. I still haven't found a traveler's sword for the kid. <laughs> I 
You got scared? <laughs> Brother? I could recognize a fellow traveler. A country mile away. We share a unique bond, you and me. I recently returned from both Gar Goron City and Gerudo Town. You interested in hearing tales? Gerudo Town? West of Fatino. Okay. Wow, this, this dude gives you clues as to what to do when you get to the Gerudo area. I just saw that he had hiccups, so I was like, I'll throw a bomb to scare him. Returned with the ward. Aren't you, Perky? Well then, you ready to deliver the the wood bundles? <laughs> All I needed to see: good faith wood. You're obviously serious about this, and now I know it. So promise I'll sell this whole place for three thousand. Once you got the money together, come grab me. All right, there we go. Not quite there yet. Um, I need to make more... More food. <laughs> Particularly stuff that can... Ooh, nice. That's a 16 minute one now. Type in Tears of, the King, Tears of the Kingdom, there is cooking and it'll let you choose how many meals of a selection. Like, as in you, you uh, fill a recipe book and then you just pick the recipe, and as long as you have the ingredients, it'll do it. Would be good. Good one. 
cooking the same elixir 20 times is tedious. I agree. It's one of those things that I get it. It adds charm to like the fact that, you know, you're grabbing ingredients, you're holding them, then you're dropping them into a pot. But it's one of those things that in the long run, it just becomes annoying. It's kind of the Animal Crossing philosophy of design is, you know, they make you have conversations and stuff and... That's, that's all nice, but when you want to do things in bulk, it just sucks. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. I might make some more stamina skills, because I, I think I used them all up. Sometimes the result is weird. This one's not as good as mixing the other ingredients, but it'll do the job. <laughs> I need more salt or butter. Butter. Ooh, they have milk here. Oh. Take them all. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Or rice? Okay, it's rice. <laughs> oh. I mean, eggs we can find in the wild. Same with truffle. Ooh, you have arrows. I'll take those. <laughs> Bomb arrows, I think we're fine. We don't need them. Didn't have butter, but that's fine. Okay, uh... Let me see. I guess go out south. Psst, 
Oh, okay. Phantom deer. Gotta keep collecting that honey. I do kind of want to check through this underpass area because I think I went above the first time around. been here yeah no I have it just looks weird from this angle I just thought maybe it was an area I skipped or something Then all the parts. What the? Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that that looked perfectly normal. Nothing wrong there. You know, they they have a. Uh, They've had six years to make the engine of this game better, just saying. Tears of the Kingdom better have some improvements to the engine. still looks nice. I mean, it, even running on the Switch still looks pretty nice. Ooh. I see. I need to go on that bridge. Saw someone with Wii U emulation on the Switch to play this game at 60 FPS. What? Well, I guess the, maybe the Wii U version makes concessions, because it kind of has to. I don't know.
The mod was called Second Wind that adds new shrines and items. Okay. Interesting. I need to cross the bridge. That bridge. Shit. No, wait, this bridge. Hang on, what, what am I looking at? Oh, I see, there's two bridges. There's one up high, one up low. Need to go to the one on high ground. Looking at parts of the map I haven't crossed yet. <laughs> oh, what? It didn't kill one. That's surprising. Okay, where is this bridge? Maybe I'm imagining it, I don't know. Okay, but I wanna get to the navel. That's over here. good. I can climb again. Gee, I wonder what this is. That glowing light, that ominous glowing light. This is where I wanted to go. Face that way. Okay. Just in case I missed anything around here. There's a po oh, there's a pond here. There's probably something here. Okay, right, keep going. Uh. 
just keep heading straight in this direction. I can see it's where that tree is. So... Is this a hot spring? I think it's a hot spring. Come on. All right. I want it to be all fancy. Have I heard of the Legend of Zelda gardening sim where you play as the hero of time? Waka waka. Waka waka. Wait. It doesn't let you use cryo. Understandably so. Just thinking where what path I should take. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's a whole upper area there. I guess that Fort Hatino. All right. <laughs> Stupid Octorok. I can almost... Ooh, probably won't make it. It's these mountains over here that I haven't explored.
That should be one. Not now. I'm going to trust that'll work. Yeah. Okay, it looks like there's something further below that I haven't looked at. Oh, it's another one of you. Oh, this is an underpass. Okay, hang on. No Korok? Is that one? No, it's rock. <laughs> it looked like one of the things where you use uh, magnesis. Good. I thought that might be one here, but nope. <laughs> Who does that? He puts a piece of flint in the treasure chest and then... Puts it on some random mountain.
Okay. Gonna head further north now. I mean, I think I'm good. I can't imagine that these will have much above it. I guess we're heading back to uh, Northern Lanayru and uh, Zora's Domain before going over the cliffs and then heading to Akala. That's probably something. But I don't want to drop down just yet. I was wrong about this area. I thought there'd be something here. It's okay, as long as it's ruled out. Alright, turn around.
I got it. I didn't even think about it. stamina as I got there. Okay, this is where the tree was. I was gonna say... Okay... Hello, Lanius, how are you? Uh, have I gotten far? I took a trip to the mountains. Not very thorough because I remember Linero being very, very empty, so. That's pretty much it. I'm heading over here. Gonna clear this area, then do Zora's domain properly, and then hop over to Akala. That's the plan. I freed the dragon. The cold regions are fine, just have a sword on your back and then- oh shit. Not quick enough. I was trying to put the ice in the way. I picked stasis by accident. <sighs> if I didn't pick stasis, I would have had that in time. But I accidentally picked the wrong one. Okay, well, noted. Where am I? The Korok's been acquired. I'm going more this way this time. Road to 100 deaths. I mean, I'd rather it be road to 200 Koroks. this one. I mean, these hills I haven't explored primarily because there's, yeah, machines around. Guardians! Hit! 
Uh, that tree, I believe, has nothing. I was very surprised. Although, hang on. Yeah, it looks like it has nothing. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I, I'm now more wary of talking to random sta strangers because you go. <laughs> I've become very antisocial now. surprised there wasn't anything there Never finished Wind Waker. That's. I liked it. I mean, I played it for the first time. But I think the ocean segments, it's. If it wasn't for that speed sail, oh man. I think it would have dragged on. I think that's the floor of that game, is just. The sailing part is. It's a novelty, but then by the end of it, it kind of, kind of grows old. Everything else about it's good. I like the tone of it. The dungeons are cool. met up with this now, so let's go. Time to head that way. I didn't mean to do that to the horse, but I have to get them off the horse. It's the only way I know how.
I don't want to anger the horse god. Oh shit. Can't fuck this one. I'll go along here. There's a stable ahead. I'm hoping that's broken. <laughs> Should hopefully be broken. Yeah, I would have done this something by now. I'm going to look around this forest because there's ingredients. I forgot what that does. Honey, definitely need more of that. They weren't black ones. They're just too hard to kill. I'm going to waste a weapon or two and I probably won't get it done before they get knocked out.
Wait, have I taken a photo of these? I have not. Apparently I still have not. <laughs> there we go. No, I was trying to take a photo of it. That's why I didn't pick it up. Salesman. Yeah. You want a beetle every time I talk to him. <laughs> the thing is, he gives you some like that's what I would make with it anyway. That's what I would make with it anyway. <laughs> okay. The master torch? Wait, what do you mean master torch? There's a master torch? Is in... So thank you for the follow, Koto. <laughs> I mean, there are torches that may remain forever lit. <laughs> I've never talked to the wheel. Well... <laughs> Again, keep in mind, the last time I played this was years ago. I'm not going to remember every little detail about this game. Mm. What's the matter? My older brother, Isra, and Yolaro play all day long, but I have to stay here and give directions. Oh. Yeah, chapter 4, article 9 of the Stable Association Regulation states, Each stable must have personnel ready to give directions to visitors at all times. Mm. And somehow I got stuck with this jo dumb job instead of playing with my brothers. I guess that's what I get for being the only person at Wetland Stable for grasp on geography. Okay, let's get this over with. What do you know about the surrounding area? North. Death Mountain and some other junk. <laughs> Thanks. What's the south? Gone. Me too, but I never get to leave the stable. Great conversation, kid. Are you some kind of wanderer? Something like that. I don't care who you are, just lend me your ear. I finally got my hands on the legendary weapon. Really? Prepare to be blown away, are you ready? It's called the Master Torch. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called anyway. Whatever, leave me be, Commoner, I'm trying to practice here. See, this is just so minor, I wouldn't remember it. <laughs> I would have been like, haha, that's that's pretty funny, and then it would not get committed to long-term memory. I don't really talk to the people at the stables either. You're the guy who found the great fairy fountain. R funny running into you here. Traveling, are you? Traveled all over the world. What am I going to show him a picture of? Uh, that forest. I got the feeling I've seen it before. Forest south of here. Maybe it's on the other bottomless swamp. Uh, okay. This dude gives you clues as to where these pictures are. Hang on.
I mean, I think it's that way. It doesn't matter. The reaction to me not knowing him was intentionally over embellished. Right. Well, that's kind of hard to to deduce sometimes with just text. <laughs> Trying to get on the roof, but it doesn't matter. Okay, you know what? This is I think this is a good point to take an intermission as well. It's been three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. So I am gonna head further northeast. Intermission for two to five minutes. I just need to refill my water bottle. And stretch. So I wanna the plan is to go along here, and then clear whatever. Korok hunt, pretty much. I don't think there's much left in the central area. But then, there's stuff to do here. And then I'm gonna head to Akala Heights. So that's the plan, but I need to stretch my legs for a minute. And I need a drink of water. It's been three hours, so I'm gonna do that very, very quickly but if you're watching on youtube this is where we say farewell for now but rest assured you'll see it the next part pretty soon as i've been uploading these pretty quickly so bye youtube